Well, hello there. For those of you that are not able to come to class, this is my video. You all know that you are to watch my videos when you are not at class because we miss you and we make these just for you to make sure you are not behind. And every day you will know what we did in class. Now that you've heard my word, my voice and those wonderful wor words, solve two-step inequalities, page 513. That's where this lesson starts. We're going to skip this page, though, and go right to where the work is, page 514. Page 514. Solve a two-step inequality. Now, there are a couple kids whose books are not open. Your book should be open now to page 514. Thank you. A two-step inequality is an inequality that contains two operations. To solve a two-step inequality, use inverse operations to undo each operation. Kids, it looks just like two-step equations, except you don't have an equal sign, you have an inequality sign. And when you multiply or divide by a negative number, your inequality sign is going to flip. Okay? That's what you have to be careful with. So yes, I will expect you to show your steps because on the test, this problem, one point for that, one point for the result, one point for the step, one point for the answer. The graph will be worth two points. One point for an open or closed circle, another point for the arrow going into the right direction. They're not going to ask you to do a check step usually. This little problem, one, two, three, four, that is six points. So I want to make sure you know how to get all of your points, okay? It's very important. <clears throat> Let's look at number two. First, you undo what you're adding or subtracting. So we get rid of the five, minus five, that's a point. You get four X is less than 28, that's a point. Now you can go ahead and divide both sides by four right here underneath that on your paper. That's a point. X is less than 7 is a point. Open circle is a point, and the direction of your line is a point. Any questions? Okay, let's just go straight on to letter A. I want you to do that problem. Don't skip any steps. You'll have to work over the graph, but we'll just do the graph here where you put your answer in the middle and then two other numbers, just because they stick the graph in a weird spot. Okay, did you get X is greater than 8? Then you put an 8 in the middle, 7, 8, 9, open circle, X has the big N, big numbers live to the right. Any questions? Why would 7, why would 6 refer to 7? 7, 8, 7, 8, 9, when you count. I'll put a number line up on the board to help you keep straight where your numbers are. Now let's look at number three. In this problem, it's sometimes if you want to add the opposites now, this is one when we have multi-steps, sometimes it's easier to do add the opposites so you don't forget you have a negative sign. And now they have the negative 2x. So first you get rid of your 7, minus 7. Then you divide both sides by negative 2. Look what happened to your inequality sign. When you divide both sides by a negative, your inequality sign flips. X is less than negative 2. Open circle going to the left. Any questions on that? Number 4. X divided by 2 minus 5 is less than negative 8. Well, first you get rid of your subtracting 5, so you add 5. Now you have x divided by 2 is less than negative 3. Multiply both sides by 2. I like to put my 2's like this. They did it that way, but it's okay. And you get x is less than negative 6. 
Remember, we didn't flip it here because we multiplied both sides by a positive 2. Open circle on the 6, the negative 6, going to the left. Now I would like for you to do B and C. If you need more space, feel free to write your problems over here to the right. All right, so for this problem here, minus 9, minus 9. X divided by 2 is greater than or equal to negative 4. Multiply by 2, multiply by 2, and the answer is going to be X is greater than or equal to negative 8. So, negative 8, negative 9, negative 7, closed circle going to the right. Are there any questions? On this one, now we're, we can make that negative, minus 8, minus 8. Negative x over 3 is less than or equal to negative 1. Now kids, I want to get rid of this 3 and I want to get rid of the negative sign. So I'm going to multiply both sides by a negative 3. That takes care of this and it makes that positive. Okay? X, ooh, and that flips it, is greater than or equal to 3. So I put down um, closed circle going to the right. Now, are these hard? No. The hardest part is when you flip your inequality sign. Yes? Um, I was wondering, does it matter, like, it's negative. It does matter. In the negative world, negative 9 is smaller than a negative 8. And negative 7 is bigger. Okay? In the positive world, 2 is smaller than 3 and 4 is bigger. Just make sure the number on the left is smaller than the number on the right. You got it? And then this number has to be bigger than that. All right, so yeah, it does. Because negative world's different than positive world. Good question. Now let's go on to the next page. Yeah. Okay, can I go to the next page? Thank you. Now we're going to do the word problem on example five. It says, halfway through the bowling league season, Stewart has 34 strikes. He averages two strikes per game. Write and solve an inequality to find how many more games it will take for Stewart to have at least 61 strikes. The league record. Okay, interpret the solution. Well, he already has 34. 34 plus 2 per game is greater than or equal to 61. If he gets 61, he ties it. If he gets uh, more, then he breaks the record. Okay, so minus 34, 2G is greater than or equal to 27. Divide both sides by 2. And to tie the record, he needs 13.5. If to break the record, he needs 14. So it says Stewart should have at least 61 strikes after 14 more games. Okay, if he continues at his level. Okay, he's a, a bowler. I'm not very good. It hurts my wrist after I bowl a little bit. Then the next thing I know, I like it, but I get, I'm just out of shape. My wrist gets tired. Well, let's keep us in shape, though, and get these math problems done. I'm in shape for this. Add 7, add 7, draw your line and cancel. 5 times x is greater than or equal to 50. Divide by 5, divide by 5, x is greater than or equal to 10. All right, I put my 10 in the middle, 9 is smaller, 11 is bigger, closed circle going to the right. Any questions? 
Okay, I have to first get rid of my 7, and then I'll multiply by a 5. These are friendly ones. Add 7. Now I end up with 18 is less than or equal to x divided by 5. Did I? Oh, thank you. I was supposed to subtract. I said subtract. Well, 11 minus 7 is what? 4? There. Thank you for catching that early. Now, multiply by 5. Multiply by 5. 20 is less than or equal to x. Do we agree? Yep. Okay. Would you please stop making your paper ball and do math? This is not art class. 